The PS5 reveal is finally happening. You know what that means, my people. Yo, the PS5 is literally having a game showcase on June 4th, 2020. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm even more hyped for it than I was with the PS4s. PS4 generation has did a lot of numbers and changes to my life. I got into even more fighting games, met so many more cooler people, learned about the FGC, and I just want it all to get better. And yes, every fighting game on PS5 should have GGPO netcode. I'm looking at all of y'all. I. Today, we're going to talk about the PS5 and fighting games that I think we need to have, or better yet, the fighters I would like to see on the next console generation. To make this list easy and not very well, in quotation marks, complicated, if the game wasn't rumored or canceled pre-PS4 or current console generation, I will not add it. Without further ado, follow me on Twitter, Avatar Yaya, TV, and LGI, let's get it, let go. Bloody Roar 5. The last Bloody Roar game came out on November 11, 2003, and then six months later in Japan on May 27, 2004. It's been 17 years, bro. Konami, just give them another game or sell the IP or something. What y'all doing? My friend Jeremiah is a big Bloody Roar fan and an advocate for another game. They already have a video with 93k views on it. For a fan made revival video, that's pretty big. The reason why I care is the game is similar to Class in the Gym in my eyes, but maybe more or less mechanics. Don't hold me to that. Don't get mad. It's just that it just feels similar to that. And he, they my brother. If they like Class of Ninja, I like Bloody Roar. We in this together, bro. <laughs> also, there's this bunny girl. I think her name was Alice the Rabbit from Bloody Roar 2. That looks so cool. I remember when I played it recently. So yeah, I want to play with that character again in like the highest HD 4K quality possible. I also believe we need more 3D fighting games to come into the fray on PS4. We literally only got Tekken 7 and Soul Calibur 6 this generation. We didn't even get Virtual Fighter. And this would be a nice way to actually balance out fighting games with some more 3D fighters with the return of Bloody Roar. Next one on this list is the one that everybody been talking about. Darkstalkers. Well, if you played a Capcom fighting game, you have maybe heard of Darkstalkers. If you haven't heard of the English name, you might have heard of Vampire Slaver. <sighs> Look, I feel old as hell saying this. Y'all know Morgan from Marvel vs. Capcom, goddammit. Many, many people have been asking for this game forever. Before I even got into fighting games, I heard about, yo, you anybody want to play Vampire Saber? Where is Darkstalkers for PS3, PS4? I've been hearing this for a long period of time. Many, many people have been asking for this or another installment since Capcom and Iron Galaxy released Darkstalkers Resurrection back in 2013. One of our biggest hopes for PS5, Xbox Series X, or just next generation of gaming in general is that Capcom focuses a little more on their fighting game division. Like obviously many fighting game players and fans miss Marvel vs. Capcom and want another Marvel vs. Capcom game. So regardless, stay tuned for that because that's going to be a whole separate video in the future. But I think Capcom should give another fighting game IPA shot. See, in this time period, it can actually potentially work better than it ever has before. Have them use the Resident Evil engine for the game, and we pretty much live with a town that people love horror and the name itself literally sells. Like, come on, Darkstalkers? Vampire Savior? It's gonna catch people regardless. <laughs> Next on my list is something that y'all thought I would never actually ever say. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale 2. Now you're probably looking at me like... <laughs> yeah, see, I did like PlayStation All-Stars on PS3, but I was kinda blown the game didn't get another chance on PS4. I really just wish the game fundamentally played somewhat similar to the Smash Bros series, however I did like the combo system. I highly disliked the whole super to kill, however I did love how combos did rack up damage. If they could find a balance this time around, it would be pretty great. Also, PlayStation All-Stars did some teams other fighting games were not doing and still haven't done yet, heck, even better than Smash Ultimate. And leveling up unlocked cool things for the characters you play, rewarding you for playtime and character progression. It was pretty fire back then, my guy. I also want a competitor for the Super Smash Bros. series, a competitor that could potentially shake up things or come out of nowhere and do things as big as smash i think playstation all-stars is one of the few that can potentially do that now this one is the one i've been preaching to the choir on this channel already 
preach it to the masses. We need Persona 5 Arena. I feel like this game itself is long overdue. People have been asking for it, but you know, Alice Company works like a fusion of Patrick from SpongeBob with a sprinkle of Rick and Morty in their heads. This is my most wanted Art System Works collaboration, simply because this is how I got into the Persona series anyway and started my bridge to learning more about the anime FGC. My honest opinion, Persona 4 Arena was the best Art System Works fighting game, even with how jank and broken it was. Everything was so good for menus, felt like Persona 4, the color, hell, oh, I even liked the story mode a little bit. Alice, it's been 8 years since the original Persona 4 Arena, and Persona 5 is literally the biggest in the franchise right now. If you guys want to make the last bit of money, or milk Persona 5 one last time even after Persona 5 Scramble, Persona 5 Arena is honestly the way to go. Now my last one on this list is something that I think everybody has been wondering. Where is Tekken Cross Street Fighter? Tekken Cross Street Fighter is still a thing and it's not 100% cancelled, however, it's very complicated. Katsuhiro Harada, the lead of the Tekken series, says, My marketing view is that Tekken 7 and Street Fighter 5 are selling very well, so there is no opportunity to drop Tekken Cross Street Fighter on the market. To be honest, I tell many people this already, Tekken 7 is doing amazing as a service game with DLC, yet even going into the next generation and PS5, we already know PS4 games will be backwards compatible, making it even harder to justify making another Tekken game after 7 right now. I think if anything, the best time to announce Tekken Cross Street Fighter is in these places. It would be the best to announce it during the Summer Games Fest one of the upcoming PS5 real events, or EVO 2020 Online, or EVO 2021. It will be fresh because of the PS5 coming out, and to be honest, with PS5 fighting games, it won't even be, in quotation, saturated. Because the only possible new fighting games we could know of that could be on the console is Guilty Gear Drive and whatever NetherRealm Studios is up to. There are many, many more fighting games I could put on this list, but I want next gen to also make things better, but also surprise me. It's something I feel like the PS4 lacked until around the reveal of Dragon Ball Fighters. Something very unique and very different. What fighting games do you want to see on PS5 or just next gen in general Avatar game? If you guys enjoyed today's discussion video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit all the notifications on when you turn on that bell. I know you already want to. You're probably already considering it. But seriously, follow me on Twitter at Avatar Yaya T. V and remember, you guys are golden and that is raw. Squalor, yep, yep.